Television has been a constantly evolving medium since it first hit the airwaves decades ago. Color splashed on the scene back in the late 50s. Now another advance is coming into much sharper focus. Experts say that stereo will do for sound what color has done for sight. Stereo will, will start slower and, uh, and will build just as color television sets. TV 13 is about the 100th NBC affiliate to begin beaming its signal in stereo since the network first pioneered the technology two years ago. Station engineers like Ron Wiedemeyer are still fine-tuning a system that's been on the air less than a month in western Wisconsin. The switch to stereo comes just six months after the station invested in a new specially equipped transmitter. For an example, all the wires from here we had to move up in the here, we have another group of wires from over here, we have to move over to there. Not all NBC programming is yet in stereo, most of primetime is, and it won't be long before all shows make the same transition. It's the latest bell and whistle, it's um, the way that, that all programming is eventually going to go. But it may take some time before all of us at home receive this stereo sound. Many of us don't have the TVs, VCRs, or other gadgets needed to receive it. But that's expected to change now that stereo is here to stay. You have a couple of different options if you, if you want to receive the stereo programming. Uh, Steve Flatten of FSTV and Appliance is being bombarded with questions from a curious public wanting to hear more of a good thing. Uh, the sound comes from where it should be coming from. It gives you the, it gives you the home theater effect. So in this decade of the high-tech 80s, TV viewing in western Wisconsin is changing with the times. As we usher in a new era, many are saying, sounds too good to be true. Rob Krybeck, New Center 13, Eau Claire.